Yeah, so Stockwell is joining forces with the LSE to offer the chance for a student to conduct some research into what we see as the evolving uh, dilemma for communications, and that is how does a company or an organization build a compelling society story uh, which talks about their broad contribution in all things around sustainability, around employment and training, around environmental issues, as well as having a strong financial story. It's no longer enough just to make a profit as a company, it's also about what return on investment do you deliver. So we think, we don't have all the answers to all of this, so if, if a student can help us with some really uh, uh, top class intelligence about how, how to market society branding, that will be a powerful thing to deliver. I'm afraid it's never been harder. Um, there are more people studying media than there are jobs in the media. Uh, there are more people studying media than there are people employed in the media right now. And so it's never been more competitive. When I entered the media industry in the mid-80s, um, there were uh, many, many graduate training schemes to join on newspapers and broadcasters and with public relations firms. I think it's never been more competitive and so I would urge anyone seeking to get into the industry to write as much as they can and to post as much as they can to build up a portfolio uh, of articles or stories which would enable them to stand out in the application process. It's particularly hard here in London uh, and in other European cities because labour laws now mean that you will be competing for jobs against students from 27 other countries who have the same rights to work. Uh, in, in the UK as, as anyone else from Hungary to Poland to Germany. Um, I think what's going to stand out now is social media skills, uh, languages uh, and the ability to show some experience through internship or work experience uh, which really differentiates the candidate. Well, I think that it, it, it requires what we call integrated communications, and that means that um, your corporate communications department better be speaking to your public affairs department and your investor relations department to say, what is the narrative that we are communicating about uh, our strategy uh, and how we are not only delivering a return to shareholders uh, and, and enabling uh, the cash on the balance sheet to grow, but also delivering innovation and sustainable energy in that particular uh, uh, example, but an absolute commitment to safety. Uh, and are we building a degree of credit in all of those areas uh, with the right agencies of government, uh, with the right shareholder groups, with the right regulatory uh, oversight individuals, and of course with the media. And so it's now a multidisciplinary uh, advice uh, environment and much more complex than it used to be. Uh, but what it requires is companies to think like media companies themselves, uh, how are we going to communicate this effectively on the global stage? Uh, and that's what BP and others uh, perhaps got wrong in 2010, uh, but which companies right across the landscape are now becoming much more sophisticated about.